So Rob, explain what you're doing now. Um, first of all, oh man, I sprayed my GoPro. <laughs> Son of a biscuit. Oh, I just sprayed myself. Let me show you these calipers because they're pretty deep. Now I wanted to get good ones for, you know, we all want better braking performance you know, when we're stopping. You know, I carry children every day, so how about these bad boys? Ooh. I don't know. These are Power Stop Z23 uh, model. So it comes with the caliper, comes with the bracket, got the um, brake pad brackets as well. So let me unbox all these real quick and we'll get on with it. And this is the rear brake caliper. Much cuter, much smaller, but still should do better than what I got right now. And there's that. Over here, I'm going to show you a little bit more. These are, I know it's semi-metallic because you can actually see the little metal flakes in there. But that should... Uh, Improve braking performance. And over here, and as I showed you earlier, oh, these are hot. These are hot. Okay, I'll put them back down. Drilled and slotted rotors. We're gonna we're gonna start with the fronts and then work our way to the back. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. Buckle up. Ooh. What was that? Oh, it's just my car flexing. All right. Somebody needs to remind the ultimate it's only a four cylinder. Dude, it's the ultimate. Dude, you know what I just realized? What's that? My jack stands are from Hybrid Fred, I think. But I bought them years ago. Doesn't matter. I'm not getting underneath there. <laughs> Should we inspect it? Like... <laughs> oh, damn it. Is there a Actually, no, no, I'm thinking about it. I might have got them at Lowe's. I think they're Cobalt brand. That's how microphone doing. Chilling. It's chilling in the wrong direction. <laughs> Let me hold your hand. Get off my hand. Dude. You're in a woodpecker? Bird, That's a woodpecker. A woodpecker, buddy. Woody! Yes. Don't have Harbor Freight. I got cobalt. So you don't have to worry about me being dead today. Being safe. Should have brought my LED light. Dude, did you not bring anything? I didn't bring anything. I ran out the door. He's like, I'm late. Am I the only one producing in this channel? Yes. In one video, I do want to talk like this the whole time. Do it. Especially when I'm working on my truck. That'd be fitting. You got to have make sure you have a cowboy hat, too, to go with it. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, first things first, we got to take off the caliper, which basically there should be two bolts. I think it's a 22 millimeter bolt, and they're big ones, so... And crank it up, crank those two off, and then the caliper should come off. Um, and you just want to make sure you hang your caliper up on something, to, you know, not to put any pressure on the brake line. So that's what we're going to do now. Are you going to disconnect the caliper from the brake line right now, or are you going to wait until I'm going to wait. Things I'm going to wait. I'm going to okay. wait until until because if you if you if you disconnect it now, that's a good question. If you disconnect it now, I mean, you're going to have brake fluid just dripping out. I'm not ready to do it. You kind of want to have the caliper already set in there next to it. So once you take it off the old one, you pretty much just got to, what I do is just pop it on the new one. And then that way you don't, you save your brake fluid. You're not just bleeding out everywhere. That's right. And it saves uh, the, uh, the amount of air that gets in the system too, right? Yeah, because the air bubbles usually, they'll start rising up into the, the system. Yeah. Good shit. Good question, we'll Bob. You came through. I think, always. Oh man, I sprayed my GoPro. <laughs> Son of a biscuit. I just sprayed myself. This is exactly why we should be wearing masks and not just because of COVID. So we're gonna let that sit. I'll spray the other side too while I'm here. Let that sit longer. To the driver's side. There's these things called sliding bolts. They're usually typically called. Now some don't have these, but my car does. These bolts here. Uh, basically allow you to, if you unscrew it, you can lift up the actual caliper section and leaves the brackets behind for a quick brake pad switch. But since I'm taking off the whole thing, I'm just taking off these big caliper bolts. That takes the whole thing with the bracket and the caliper as one unit. So, why do more when you can do less? It's loose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it didn't even, 
Didn't even fight me. The first bolt. Ceremonial first bolt. One of two. One of two. All right. So. Caliper. Oh. Yeah. Usually you can give it a, a little bend. The rows are already wanting to come off. That's a good sign. Does that do compress the piston a little bit when yeah. you bend it like that? Doing that compresses the piston just enough to clear the rotor or this nut, and that's that's for the brake line. And then put it to the new one. That's pretty much it. See, this looks pretty clean there too. So, so I'm just gonna spray it with some brake clean. It's time for the brake cleaner. Like that. Okay. And then, well, since I just put my dirty hand on that side, I might want to just swap this down a little bit. Okay. So, once you get it all clean, you can just line it up, put it on there. Voila. Ready. It's ready. So all we gotta do now is just uh, bring over that big old caliper. Is it recording? Nope. Hit go. Oh, okay, go. All right. So what we're gonna do next is we're going to take off the bracket, and you do that by taking off. Oops, a little bit. Taking off these two slider pins. So I'm gonna do that now. Oh, after I put it on the right way. So, I'm going to take this, and this is for, I should probably check the side I'm working with. Now, you'll see a big R here. This is reassuring because that means I didn't pick the wrong caliber. So, we're working with the right side, so make sure it has an R. You usually have, like this side, this is for the back, has an L. So, that will clue you in as which side. Make sure you're, you're putting the right caliber on the right side. So, what we're going to do... These slider pins can stay here with uh, the caliper. We're going to come around here and we're going to mount this section to the car. <clears throat> so we'll come in here. This is the part I was worried about before if it's going to fit or not. Another trick, you know, that we at the Trick Shift Garage uh, use quite often. Is uh, when you're doing a brake job, you can put a lug nut on there. Kind of helps keep the rotor from, you know, giving you that lean, so you can have a nice straight vertical rotor. Right, Bob? Yep. So we're gonna mount it like so. All right. So what we're gonna do? Use our existing bolts. We're gonna clean these up, and then we're gonna put some. Uh, what's it? What kind of one? the blue? The blue thread locker. Medium strength. Or medium strength. So what's next, Rob? Torque time. time it's torque it. time, baby. Whoop whoop. The small one only goes to 75. So we gotta go with the big boy. Bigger is always better. That's what she said. <laughs> you have these numbers along the torque wrench. Okay, so you kind of got to eyeball it when you're up against, when you're looking at the zero. Your zero is like what you would use. So every time you rotate it completely around and you go back to zero, it jumps in increments of 10. So I need 98. So I want to make sure that I'm at 90. So right there you can see the 90. And yep. you can see it's right on that, like it's pointing right on that little ledge, I guess you can call it, mm -hmm. for the 90, okay? So then once you get the 90, then you know, okay, I, I like for mine, I, I need 98. So right now I'm at 90 and then zero. So this would be 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98. So this should be 98. So once I get my number, you want to lock it. So I'll take it and I'll lock this in place. That means, you see, I'm trying to turn it. It doesn't turn. If I unlock it, 
and I can turn it back. Okay. okay. So Rob, what is this? This is a printout from alldatadoityourself.com. Uh, this is actually a pretty good website for working on vehicles. It pretty much tells you everything you need to know about fixing or servicing a particular car and model. Um, is this all free information or do you have to subscribe? Oh, you got to subscribe. Okay. It's like, I think it's what, 30 bucks, 30 bucks for a whole year. Oh, okay. So nothing. So yeah, it's really not much. Like um, Kevin, like Kevin from the office. Yeah. <laughs> Why well, use lot word when short word do, or, or less word do trick? <laughs> oh, I will, brother. It's happy to be out of the freaking house. Uh oh. Get him. Little thread locker. I'm just trying to let it drip on there, like that. Come in here. Just gonna tighten it by hand. So, just want to get it in there. How far? All the way. Always. All the way. Yeah, because if you don't put it all the way, man, you're gonna strip that sucker out. Yep. Can't just do the tip. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> no! I got it all over my arm. <laughs> You got the brake squeal on this side. I got some on that side too. Put some more grease on the on the clips. So at this point, we're just ready to install the caliper. Let's do it. So I keep forgetting I have this now. It's a brand new tool. AC Ducco electric ratchet. It's just sitting here looking pretty. It's too clean. You gotta dirty it up. Throw it in the mud. Oh. Do I have my washer? No, I don't have my washer. Wow. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm just a cameraman, dude. You're going to do a lot of cutting because I just feel like <laughs> I'm just going back and forth a million times. It's always like tool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> so the plan attack is we loosen this up, take it out, brake fluid goes everywhere. It is what it is. Put it in here, tighten it back down. Hopefully everything is the same thread it should be. It should be all OEM fit. So here goes nothing. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, God. It's coming from the brake caliper. <laughs> Did you just taste the brake fluid? No. Oh. <laughs> Not yet. I don't do that. I'm <laughs> about to say, oh, I know okay. the sun's getting to you, but Jesus. So you want to make sure you got the copper washer, one on each side, and it's locked into here. So hold it nice and steady. And you're just going to 13. So it should be pretty soon. There you go. 13. And at this point, we're just going to grab the the, um, the two sliding bolts and put them in, and this should be all set. Okay, here's our sliding pin bolt. With the thread locker. Thread lock, of course. Just want to get it started, finger tight. Let me get the other one. So are the rotors slotted and drilled the exact same way on both sides? Yeah. No, I mean, they're not like directional, right? Like these lines aren't supposed to be this way, right? On this side, should it have that rotor instead of this one? So after I got everything tightened, Bob over here. God dang it, Bobby. Says, you know what? You got those rotors on the right way. So we just checked it out and apparently, I didn't know this, this is my first time working with drilled and slotted rotors, but you want to have it so, basically you want it the opposite of this. You want it so that these slots are going to go on this way towards the front of the car. All right, Bobby, we're hitting the right rotor this time. Thank you.
Ha!